Good day. 
I know dad would say, they really outweigh my bad days. So I really, 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 I really won't complain. You know why he's not gonna complain? Because God, he's been so good to me. He, he, he's been so good to me. This is what dad would say. More than this so world or you could. them all grow and now you shared all the knowledge you know every act of kindness and every full deed every time you reached out and comforted all those in need you created a full family whose love for you will never end on behalf of our grandchildren we are glad to be your king awesome. my name is uh, Taj Johnson and uh, my granddaddy, I love him, you know what I'm saying? If I just had half the hustle that he had, I'd be, I'm telling you, I'd be out there. I like to say happy birthday. I'm Greg's son, and uh, I like to say happy birthday to my granddaddy. Hi, good evening, y'all. My name is Daisha Cooper. I'm the daughter of Gregory Johnson. And um, I just, I'm, I'm here today, Granddad, to say thank you very much. You've always provided a, a, a roof over our head, and we always needed a place to go. And I just wanted to thank you. Thank you very much, and happy birthday to you. And uh, Mr. Mr. Johnson was like the reference book, the encyclopedia. Anything that you wanted to know about boxing, you could ask Mr. Johnson, and Mr. Johnson, would, if he didn't have the answer, he'd get it for you. And we learned to respect him on that on that level. And then when he started coaching up the Wolves Center, I was fortunate enough to go up as an assistant coach, and we worked together for years 
working and, and then decided that uh, we wanted to uh, give our kids some more opportunity by taking them out of town to places like uh, the Ohio State Fair, the Junior Olympics. Uh, incidentally, uh, we the the first team that we took to the Junior Olympics uh, in Arkansas, one of the young men is here, my son, Monique. Can you please stand for a minute, Monique? There was only five kids. There was three Deloaches and two Stewarts. We went down to Arkansas and brought back uh, two uh, the junior champions. My biggest son, which is the first one who had deceased, and Derek Deloach, the, uh, the younger of the Deloach brothers. But from that point on, we started on. We, we, we started a process of, of building a team. Our first national junior Olympic champion was Tasso Pearson from uh, Tandy Center which is where Mr. Hayes is from. Mr. Hayes was there at the time. And we went on, went on into to, uh, Ohio State Championship, uh, National Championship. Just like um, Cheryl said, Steve is one of the most feared boxers in the city of St. Louis for years around there, little Steve Young. And he was, he was he, for four or five years in a row, he beat guys, um, I mean, he beat boxers going and coming in, in, in and out of the Nationals international and, uh, and, and so on. But one of the most things that I would like to really share with you about Mr. Johnson was Mr. Johnson, he, he may be, maybe, maybe he's lost about 10 pounds, but this man can eat more than any three of us. I mean, eat more. And, and he, he, he saw it first and always was last finish. And the reason that he was last is because he said, I chew my food very well. <laughs> he ate ice cream every night. I was just telling, I was just telling the guy at the table that 70 years old, they put a fence around Colorado Springs to keep the young kids from going out at night to the, to the convenience store across the street. And they looked up one night there, Mr. Johnson was going over the fence to get ice cream. 70 years old. And the, other, the only other thing that I couldn't beat him, I couldn't, I, he snored more than I did. You know? <laughs> See, they don't they, they were no benefits to them. Mr. Johnson did outsnow me. I mean, he was, you know, and, and, and the, 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 the 12 to 15 years that we worked together, um, I know whenever we went on any, it went to any, uh, uh, traveled on the road any place, I know I had a roommate. Now, and after that, Mr. Johnson, you know I have trouble trying to get a roommate. And all of them are just jealous because they, 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 they claim that I, that I snore a little bit. <laughs> but but uh, really, I, you know, the only thing, and I, and I was telling Cheryl that I had a picture of him we were in Little Rock, we were in uh, Osceola, Arkansas, and we had 17 boxers, and just about all of them were overweight, you know, two, two or three pounds. So that morning when we got ready to go to breakfast, every kid went in the, went in the dining room, went in and got hash browns. And so it, then they came back, they had to come past Mr. Johnson, and Mr. Johnson, what are you doing with those hash browns? You got to make weight. Put them here on my plate. And, and, and I got a picture, and I, I'm really I'm sorry, but the picture, the, the hash browns were stacked this high in front of him, and he was just eating right out of them, just, just, just slowly eating them. And I don't, I, I, I don't know if he ate them all or not, but I know boy, he ate, he took all of those hash browns from those kids and put them on his plate. And then, believe it or not, that night he had to go get a pint of ice cream before he go to bed. But really, and truly, I miss Mr. Johnson from his travel. And often we have, we, 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 had, we had such a good time. We traveled, we went to Indianapolis, we traveled in everything, from a bus to a two-ton truck, 